Hello there, and welcome to Funch. In today's tutorial, we'll be exploring the world of portfolio websites and how to create a stunning one for a photographer. We'll be focusing on black and white style that is sleek, elegant, and professional. We understand the importance of having a portfolio website that is both simple and attractive with no unnecessary complexity. After all, you want your work to speak for itself, right? So without further ado, let's dive right in and get started. Okay, let's get started with this project. So first what you want to do is you want to import the starter pack files that we have provided in the description. So make sure to open the file and just copy the starter pack resources. So I'm just going to paste them right here. There we go. Okay, let's get straight into designing this website. It's not way too complex, so this should be easy. Let's select a frame. So we need a desktop frame right here. There we go. Let's give this desktop frame the background immediately. So just select this background here. One, two, one, two, one, two. Great. So let's start designing with the navigation at the top. So let's uh, create a frame that uh, has a height of 64 pixels. There we go. And let's scale it all the way to the other end. Full width. There we go. Perfect. Let's just give it a color for the moment and we can actually design the line as a starter just scale the line all the way to the other end of the design there we go and we want to give this line this color to be to be to be just paste it there we go now we can actually remove the fill there we go Okay, great. We have the navigation set up. We just need to fill it in. Let's give this frame a layout grid. So we want columns, we want 12 of them, and we want a margin of 48 pixels and a color of uh, 24. And there we go. We have the layout grid. Let's name this file. We forgot to name it. So photographer portfolio website design there we go perfect and let's name this frame landing page there we go okay let's grab the logo real quick here's the logo just copy it and just paste it right into your frame it's equal it has equal spacing from all sides top and bottom and 48 on the left it's okay Okay, let's design the navigation links here. So just write home, give it 16 pixels and auto. So we're going to be using Source Sans Pro as our main font here. This should be regular, that's good. Let's design the next one portfolio about and blog there we go select all of your text holding control shift text center them and let's give, the, give them horizontal spacing equally let's add uh, 40 pixels yeah that looks good group them up and just center them perfect let's design the button here so let's just right here get in touch this is the contact button let's give it auto layout holding shift a there we go let's give it um maybe this is good with 10 pixels let's let's write eight yeah let's go with eight pixels eight, eight pixel spacing top and bottom and uh, let's try 24 here no that's too much let's try 16 perfect Okay, let's give it a stroke. And let's give the stroke a white color and it should be one pixel rounded. Perfect. Great. Let's disable the grid and see how this looks like. Nice. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to add the images at the in this design so we'll have three images and we should follow the width that they have so for 594 
width so that's how much should be the main frame that we're going to design it should be adapted yeah so it's exactly as we want it to be let's give this a big space for the moment let's give it a white fill disable the grid holding control shift 4 and we want to add our images so let's copy the first one there we go paste it and place it at the top nice let's select the middle picture this is the bigger one it's slightly bigger than the rest as it should be in this design let's copy the last one and just paste it the, okay let's see the main frame okay so make sure to align your main frame that contains these images correctly and you can remove the fill and there we go okay okay the next thing we can do we can design the lines that are present in the design so let's just do it you can click l to get a line there we go copy this down to the next one perfect let's copy this line from the top just copy its color let's add the same color to the rest of the lines here there we go and what you want to do now is select your line and the navigation and give it a width of 0.75 and oops do it to the rest of the lines so 0.75 we want something very thin in this situation okay that's great now let's design the headline the description and the paragraph so let's write here meet joy lee creative photographer let's align the text to the left and let's give it a, a size of 48 there we go let's add semi bold here perfect let's write uh, the description so just write something and resize it to 20 pixels and this should be roboto we're using roboto for paragraph text and this should be regular there we go okay let's write the content up creative photographer with um unique eye for capturing new pers perspectives and pushing creative boundaries there we go okay let's give this text a uh, color so use this text color here e eo 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 actually it's e0 i think yeah it's e0 there we go let's give it a spacing of 12 pixels from the headline okay let's design the button right now so write check work this should be 16 pixels let's add uh, our layout holding shift a there we go let's add 16 to the top and bottom and let's add 40 to the left and right actually we can go with 12 on top and bottom yeah that's good and let's redu reduce the left and right to 32 perfect so you need to experiment a little bit to find something that works well let's get a fill uh, let's give this fill the same text color here and let's give this text the background color there we go let's give this a uh, medium perfect and let's give it a one pixel of uh, corner radius good that's 24 pixels away from the description and headline text that should be how it should be oh, let's try 16. Mm, let's add uh, eight pixels over from this mm. yeah let's go with 12. And this should be 24 yeah there we go 
let's select all of the elements here and group them and they should be distance from the lines equally so this is 60 pixels from the top line and 71 from the bottom let's go 66 and 65 okay that works well great okay so now we're going to design some custom links at the bottom that would be clickable and let's uh, do it so let's uh, start with the first one actually before doing that we need to design something else so let's see how much height we have here so let's design the frame as a starter okay and it should be just oops there we go and we have the frame right now perfect and how we would design this five elements here is like this so create another frame inside your frame and just uh, scale it all the way and what you want to do is go to your width and just divide it by five so you have one of a fifth of the size so let's uh, copy this four more times so it's total five there we go okay let's write the text up here so the first is architecture this should be a source sans pro should be 14 pixels let's center it perfect let's give this uh, a, a stroke and this is gonna be a custom stroke so you can go select the custom option and just let's give it the proper stroke we don't want on the left we want 0.75 on the top we want 0.75 on the right and we don't want anything on the bottom oops 0.75 and there we go okay let's design the next one we're going to change the colors later so don't worry about it cloudscape let's give it the same stroke here custom zero zero left and bottom and 0 0.75 0 0.75 from both sides and there we go let's design the next one and this should be ast astrophotography there we go actually let's see if we can copy the style and apply it yeah that works well it, it will save us some time let's write here abstract and let's do the same here this should be black and white there we go okay let's select now all of our components here and just give them the same color actually let's copy the color first <laughs> of the lines and select them again holding shift so you can select all of them and give the stroke the proper color there we go okay the only thing we're missing here is the numbers that would potentially slide other pictures in but for this scenario we're just designing it there we go oh the frame didn't actually the frame wasn't created inside our frame so let's try again okay it's okay now it should be fine let's scale this a little bit here uh, let's size our frame properly full height full width of the remaining space there we go okay let's design the numbers now just put them right in I should do one two three four five and six there we go select all of them align them center and let's give them equal horizontal spacing let's go with 12 yeah that looks good 
let's uh, group them up and center them perfect you can un ungroup them now and we can design a line for this active number and let's give it the same white color here let's, let's try around it here yeah okay there we go guys we have designed this very simple and attractive photographer portfolio website hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new and we'll catch you in the next tutorial episode thank you guys